Cody. This class has been very interesting to me. We've had our good times and our not so good times, but all those times were really memorable. memorable. In the beginning of this class, I didn't really know what to think, and I wasn't really sure of myself. I was like, oh god, I don't like doing speeches. I'm not going to pass this. What's the point of even trying? But going through this class, I think I've really grown and got better at this. And today, I would like to tell you about what I think when I watch my movies, um, advice I'd give to future students, and my humor, of course, and if my humor isn't funny to you, laugh anyway, so I don't feel stupid. <laughs> um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is what I learned when I watched my videos. And um, actually, when I watched my videos, I was very horrified. I really don't like watching myself on TV because I feel like I sound really stupid, but I know that's how I really sound, but to me, I'm just like, oh my god, I look like a boy, I sound like a boy. It's, it's not very great, and I feel like I go like this when I'm doing it. I'm like, sit there like this. I'm like, oh my god. And the other things, um, when I was watching my first speech, it almost sounded like I was crying when I was saying that speech. I like was talking about my mom, and I was like, <laughs> I thought, I was like, was I crying? Oh my god. <laughs> And I, I really was just like so surprised by that. I was like, oh my gosh, everyone probably thought I was so emotional and they thought I was crying about my mom. I wasn't. <laughs> and um, I think if I memorize the speech better, I would feel more comfortable because I do get nervous and I think my voice sounds really shaky when I get nervous. So that's why I sound like I'm crying. And I think when I try, I, sometimes I try to sound smarter than I actually am by using big words. And then I just make myself sound stupid or like I don't, like, is this girl serious right now? <laughs> um, sometimes I look at you guys and I laugh, mostly at Sarah because she, she makes me laugh. And I think <laughs> I've got better at that. My, leg shaving speech, I feel like to laugh the whole time, and I think I've really got better at that, not laughing so much. Um, I think I should probably try not to read off my paper as much, but that kind of goes with the memorizing the speech, and um, I think sometimes I talk really fast because I get nervous, and I just want to get it over with, so I'm like, da 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 and then I'm done, and I'm happy about it, but then I don't make the time, and that's not good. So I've really tried to work on that, and um, I feel like sometimes I rush to my conclusion as well, and it doesn't really make sense to you guys, because I watched it, it didn't make sense to me, I was like, what am I talking about? <laughs> um, I really noticed in speech four, I thought I did well on that one, um, I didn't memorize my entire introduction, but I didn't feel like I looked at my paper as much as I usually do. Uh, I smiled a lot and I didn't have that many ums. I feel like I do this time. <laughs> um, I would like to tell you guys some advice I'd give to future students. And the first thing I'd like, if I could talk to them, I'd tell them about the speeches. I would tell them not to procrastinate. That's a big thing. Practice your speeches. That's what's going to get you to have them memorized and everything. Don't think a lot about getting nervous, because when you think about getting nervous, then you're just like, uh, like sitting up here like that. Um, <laughs> don't mean to sound like I'm kissing butt, but take Bill's advice, because I, it, at first I was just like, no, I'll just do it my way. But then when I started taking his advice, I think it got a little bit better. Uh, go to your live community speeches in the beginning of class. Don't wait till the speech where you have to actually talk about them and get them done that week, because that wasn't very helpful for me. And start thinking about what you're going to talk about from your speeches one through seven in the beginning. Save everything and anything you get back for your portfolio and start working at your, on your portfolio at the beginning. Don't miss a speech because it's actually easier doing a speech, in my eyes, it's easier doing a speech than having to read the book and make it all up and all that stuff. And 
make sure you use your extras and definitely talk about your interview because that will definitely help you and get you extra time. And the only advice I have about the class in general is don't be late because even five minutes can get you a half absence. Now I'd like to tell you about my humor. And like I said, if it's not funny, laugh anyways. <laughs> the first thing I would like to tell you about is the story of wheels. That's my old horse. And when I was little, I think it was five years ago when I was 11 actually, he wasn't pretty at all. He was really awkward and skinny. I can try to draw a picture of him actually. <laughs> <laughs> bones in his chest right there. <laughs> he had really skinny legs and really big feet. He was very, very skinny. You can see his ribs right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he had a back like that. It was sway and it was bony. It was terrible. You can imagine what it feels like to ride him bareback. <laughs> his, tail was, his tail was about that long, and his mane stuck straight up in the air. One of his ears bent down like that, <laughs> and he had this big, huge, swollen eye. It was just terrible. And a big, huge nose. I should have brought a picture. Oh my gosh, you don't even believe me, but that's what he looked like. <laughs> but being little, you take what you can get, like, you get your first car, and you're like, oh my god, that's a car I want. That's how I was with him. And I remember times he would, he was really mean, he was really grouchy, and me and my sister would go out there and be like, horse, and he would put his ears back and show his teeth and chase us around the pasture. And I can't even imagine what it looked like, two little girls running from this giant, mean old horse. <laughs> <laughs> and he bucked a lot as well, um, when me and my friend were riding him, and we had a lemonade stand. And we had this lemonade in our hand. And we were riding him and he started bucking just like for no reason. And it was little bucks. So he shook up the lemonade and it broke open and spilled everywhere. It got in our eyes. And then we were crying. We both fell off him. And this car stopped and they're like, are you okay? We're like, yeah, we're fine. Like trying to be cool and all this stuff. It was so funny. And <laughs> it's funny to me now. It wasn't funny then. I really wanted to cry, but I wanted to look brave. <laughs> and the other time we were riding him up this hill and he was running and he bucked, and I flew up on his neck, like literally, I was somewhere right around here, and my friend who was behind the saddle flew into the saddle, and he decided he wanted to take off at a full gallop, and I was just had my arms and legs wrapped around his neck, and my mom, she, it was by her house, so she heard us screaming, she came up next to us in her car, and she was just busting out laughing while she was trying to stop that horse. <laughs> it's not, my mom's really nice, she's not like that. <laughs> you know, that was not very nice of her. And the second story I'd like to tell you about is, is it isn't actually about me, it's about my sister, and but I think it's really funny. My sister used to have this skirt, and it was about this long, and it was uh, cloth, it wasn't like zipper or anything, it was just cloth. And um, my mom accidentally spilled bleach on it, accidentally spilled bleach on it, so my sister couldn't wear it anymore, but that didn't stop her. So one time she was wearing it and she was walking down the stairs. She had a blanket in her hand and a rat, her rat, her pet rat was sitting on her blanket. <laughs> she was walking down the stairs and I was behind her. She must have tripped over her skirt or something because the next thing I know she's doing somersaults down the stairs. <laughs> the blanket's flying up in the air and the first thing she does, she jumps up. She's like, where's baby? That was her rat's name. And her rat's like sitting on the stairs, sitting there doing this on the stairs. Dizzy. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's my humor. I hope it was funny to you. Um, I've just told you about my past speeches, what I would tell the future students, and my humor, and I really hope you thought it was funny and weren't laughing at me just because. I had a great time with all of you, and thanks for making this class so much fun.